are doing as great for almost every electronics project. But if you want to make a PCB for your project, or prototype it more seriously, I mean without the Arduino board, you should firstly build it on a breadboard. That way you can check if everything works fine before actually ordering PCBs. That saves you time and money. But how to build Arduino on a breadboard, what you need and how to get it working with Arduino IDE properly. That's what I will show you in this video. To build this project we will need Atmega 328P, 16MHz crystal, two 22 picofarads capacitors, 10 kilo ohm resistor, tact switch, 10 microfarads and 100 nanofarads capacitor, breadboard and of course cables. To burn the bootloader on the Arduino we'll use another Arduino board but if you have a programmer like USB ISP feel free to use it. Plug the microcontroller like this on a breadboard. Where you plug it depends on how you want to use the rest of the breadboard. Now we can connect the tact switch and 100 kilo ohm resistor. This will let us reset the microcontroller, for example, to upload a program with USB to UART converter. Resistor act as a pull-up to prevent Atmega from resetting and tact switch actually let us reset it by pressing a button. Crystal acts as a clock for our microcontroller and it tells it how fast to calculate stuff, so it's quite a crucial component. There is a way to use internal 8 or 1 MHz crystal of Atmega 328P, but it's a little bit more complicated to use this one, so I will use an external one to keep things simple right here. Now it's time to add the voltage filtration. This step is not obligatory, but remember that if something does not work, it's probably because of the lack of voltage filtration. So to filter the voltage properly, I will add two capacitors, 10 microfarads and 100 nanofarads connected to VCC and GND. Voltage filtration is a really broad topic and if you have any questions, you need to ask someone else because I'm not really good at this, sorry. And the last thing, we need to power the microcontroller. There are two pins that should be connected to 5 volts and two pins that should be connected to GND. Of course, you can also add a voltage regulator to power the circuit with higher voltage. Just make sure not to connect more than 5 volts straight to the microcontroller because that way you can break it. Also remember to connect the left and right power lines on a breadboard with two cables. And that's it for the connection. Now let's take a look at how to make a programmer out of Arduino Uno. When it comes to this sketch, just go to examples and choose Arduino as ISP programmer. Upload that to the Arduino, normal Arduino, not the one that we just built on a breadboard. And after that, programmer is ready. Now we need to connect programmer to our breadboard Arduino. Mossy to Mossy, Miso to Miso, STK to STK, and reset to pin number 10. Also don't forget about 5 volts and GND. Here is the schematic. Now choose Arduino Uno in the Arduino IDE and set up Arduino ISP as a programmer. And finally click burn bootloader. Wait few seconds and here it is. Nothing happens but bootloader should be successfully burned on our Arduino that we built on a breadboard. Now in order to program it we can still use the Arduino Uno. You just need to choose upload using programmer instead of normal upload. Let's connect LED to pin number 13 through 200 ohm resistor and the other lead to GND. Now a very simple blink program. Click upload with a programmer and here is our blinking LED. Way more handy solution is to use USB to UART converter, that way you can use RX and TX pins just to upload the program and you don't have to use all of those pins and special programmer. But in order to use converter instead of programmer you need to burn the bootloader. If you used upload with a programmer option you wouldn't be able to use USB to UART converter, so burn the bootloader first. Disconnect the Arduino that we used as a programmer, grab USB to UART converter and connect RX to TX and TX to RX. Yes, that's not an error, you have to swap those two. Don't forget about 5V and GND. Change your port in Arduino IDE and here you go, you can easily edit and upload a program even without an Arduino board. Just remember to click the reset button every time you upload a new program, otherwise you wouldn't be able to upload it. 
I hope you enjoyed this very short video and now you know how to build your very own Arduino on a breadboard. I'm also working right now on a kit so that you can build your very own Arduino, solder everything and that should be ready in the near future so make sure to subscribe to don't miss it. Thanks for watching, happy making!